Hi guys, it's Denma and welcome to Bullston and today is going to be a story time video. Um, this is a touchy subject. Basically, the summary is somebody tried to roofie me at a dance club. I'll go into further details, but that's this video. If that might trigger you, please do not watch it. I don't want anybody triggered. Alright, so this was probably about... Six or seven years ago, we lived at another place and actually lived in a city that actually had stuff to do. Um, and I wanted to go out to a nightclub. I don't necessarily go to a nightclub to dance. I just like the atmosphere and listen to the music and just chill out for a while and get out of just get out of the house. Lazy PC doesn't like it because it's just uh, the only dance club. We'll call it a club. That we have is really small it's probably no bigger than my house this house that i'm in and they but he didn't want to go so it's like no big deal uh, i always go get the vip pass so i can go they have the vip area it has its own bouncer and its own bar so if you're like getting annoyed by some drunk you can just go into the vip area and just have fun over there the bouncer will guard you you know let anybody in so I had gone it was a Saturday night one of the few Saturdays I had had off work and I'm the weird one that always gets there right when the club opens and I didn't know that nobody comes to the club until like two or three hours after it opens because I'm such a dork and I'm so unsocialized I mean I don't do these things very often but this is the first time Lazy NPC had not gone with me. Usually he'll come with me and just sit in the VIP area and let me go out and dance, pretend to dance, or just play pool or whatever. But he didn't come with me this time. So when I got there and I was, the club opened at 9, I got there about 10, 10 30-ish. After a while of being there, it was a lot, probably about midnight. Because the club didn't close till I think 3 or 4 in the morning. Um, around midnight the bouncer from the very front door like when you come to get in he checks your ID and stuff came and sat with me because I was sitting by myself in the VIP area because I didn't really feel like dancing I was just like enjoying the atmosphere I had a drink just one drink which my drink is pineapple juice two shots of hypnotic and a shot of grenadine shake it up over ice and you're good it's really, really good because you can't taste alcohol in it. And I just had one of those. And he had seen me. And we, were, we had talked, like, when I was coming in. We had, like, this five or ten minute conversation. So he came over and said, hey, my shift's over. Like, you want to go hang out or something like that? And I'm like, no, dude, I'm married. My husband's at home. I'm just here just enjoying the ambience. Just trying to chill out. And he was like, okay, cool. So we sit there and talk for a few minutes. And... He's like, let me get you a drink on the house. And what do you want? And I told him my drink. So he goes to the bar that's in the main area of the club. Not the VIP bar, but the regular one. Which didn't make sense to me at the time. I should have had a, like a heads up then, but I guess I'm just naive. So he brings back my drink and it tastes fine. And I drink it. And about five or ten minutes after I drank it I started to get really tired like really really tired and I'm like thinking okay maybe it's just mixing because I had taken a tramadol earlier that day and they say sometimes if you drink alcohol it like increases the potency of certain drugs like pain medication for your back that's what I had that for so I was like I've got to go home I, I don't I didn't feel nauseous or anything I was just I was like really tired. He kept volunteering to drive me home. I'm like, no, no, I'm good. I'm not like drunk. I'm not fuzzy. I'm just, this is only my second drink. So, um, I was like, I just left. I started to get weird vibes off of him. So I left and I drove home. It was where we lived. It was still in the city limits. It was further out. So it was like about a 15 minute drive to get home. And I was so tired. It was, I had the cold air, the AC on, as cold as it would go, and the music loud. 
to try to keep me awake to get home because the my husband we only had one car and I had it so my husband couldn't come pick me up and it was too late I didn't want to wake my parents up but I got home fine and safely I didn't like swerve or anything I drove pretty good considering um but I didn't speed I actually went a little bit slower than the speed limit especially once I got onto the street leading to our house because it's like eight miles in the dark and there's just woods on the side of the road um I got home me and John got into an argument because I was tired and cranky and I just wanted to go to sleep and I don't remember what the argument was about but he said we got into like a little argument no big deal and I went to sleep and I slept for a long time and and I never said anything about it because I didn't think anything about being roofied until like earlier this year and I didn't hadn't even told him because I didn't think it was a big deal so and he's like that's an eerie coincidence because I remember when you came home this black SUV kept pulling in the yard I kept riding by because I was like about two in the mo morning by the time I got home and traffic is dead on that street at 10 o'clock so this black SUV kept riding by because he was up playing World of Warcraft and he had his, the blinds open and he was looking out the window and then the SUV started pulling into our yard backing out pulling into our yard backing out a few times and one time I actually pulled up to the house and circled around because the house set back from the road about 100 feet. So we would just drive and pull around and you could see where we pulled around in the grass. And nobody stopped and got out. They just stopped or they did stop but nobody got out. And they watched and they saw my husband. I assume they saw my husband in the room. And he was looking at them and getting ready to call the cops and the truck sped off. Um, actually leaving like tire imprints in the yard so he I'm assuming the bouncer that had I guess roofied me because I didn't see him mix a drink or the bartender mix a drink or I didn't see him carry it to me all I did was trust him and drink it um, so I'm guessing he followed me home thinking oh yeah she's gonna be home alone drunk you know I had told him I had a husband and thought he was going maybe I was going to crash or pull over and he would have his opportunity to like not kidnap me but you know do bad things I told the, the NPC this um a couple of weeks ago like I said he told me about the black SUV because he couldn't figure out why they, they kept pulling in the yard he just thought maybe somebody was looking for something like we have hunting dogs that would get lost a lot in this area when I told him that we put two and two together and that's just what we assumed happened or who it was uh, I don't know I haven't been back to the club since because honestly if that happened to me once it could happen again and don't ever ever accept drinks from anybody if you don't see them make it or see the person make it and always keep your drinks covered with your hand or a card or the coaster or something when you're at a bar. Never leave your drink open because they could just slip it in there and you wouldn't be the wiser. And luckily nothing bad happened to me. I just slept for a long, long time. I mean, I slept till probably about three or four in the afternoon the next day. And just be careful. And if you go with people, like if you go with your girlfriends, your boyfriends, or a group, look out for each other because guys are susceptible to this too. A girl can refuse you guy. I mean, there shouldn't be a double standard. So, boys and girls, be safe when you go out to the club. Have fun. Drink. Be careful. Use common sense. Don't be naive like me and think everybody in there is a good person on your side they're going to be truthful and honest because they're not so it didn't leave any lasting effects like I said I didn't even remember it until I told lazy PC about it 
because I was really tired one day. I'm like, this reminds me when I got, like, when I got tired at the club and I just thought the guy roofied me or whatever when we were talking. He's like, you never told me about that. I'm like, no. I didn't think it was a big deal. And then he told me about the truck coming in or the SUV coming into the yard. So, yeah, if you were like more story time videos, like the video so I know. Um, and I can try to think of other things that happened in my life that I can tell you story times about. Um, I, live, I live a pretty boring life, so, but I can try to find something. And subscribe and join the pack. We would love to have you here. And until next time, see ya. Remember, stay safe out there.